Welcome to Excel in a minute. The long wait is over. For today's lesson, we will compare two of Excel's latest and powerful functions, let and lambda. Starting off with their respective syntaxes. The lambda function has two arguments. Parameter and calculation. Parameter is the value passed on to be calculated. While calculation is the operation to be performed with the parameter. Meanwhile, let has three arguments. Name, value, and calculation. Name is the assigned character to a value. Value is the value defined by the name. And calculation is the operation to be executed. Consider this inventory of basic protective equipment. Beside it are two counters that can return the number of pairs or pieces for any selected equipment with the help of the XLOOKUP function. But what is the difference between these two counters? Let's check it out. The first counter is made of a lead equation, having the following name and value pairs. Equipment and cell F5. List and the array B6 to B13. Quantity and the array C6 to C13. And the X lookup equation that calls the names in the following order. Equipment, list, and quantity. For the second counter, it is made of a lambda equation. Having the parameters equipment, list, and quantity. And the X lookup equation that calls the parameters as the lookup value, lookup array, and return array, respectively. Now, what instructs Excel on which values to consider are the following cell references. F10, cells B6 to B13, and lastly, cells C6 to C13. Now, let's test out both counters. As you can see, both counters returned the same results. But evidently, for counter 1, the let function allows us to put the name and value side by side, making it easier to read and comprehend. However, we can also have the same result if the let function is in this form, wherein we only defined the lookup value cell F5 as equipment. Then, we just selected the ranges B6 to B13 for lookup array and C6 to C13 for return array. On the other hand, for the lambda counter, we supported the equation with the cell references at the end. Yet, recall that when we use lambda, we can save an equation as a formula using the name manager. Now, let's call on the newly saved formula named items available. There you have it. The formula returned the same result. That's it for this lesson. We've seen both functions fight it out in terms of comprehensibility. Practice using these two more often and figure out which one works best for you. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.